Hello, this is Sai, and in this video I will be presenting our recent publication in the Open Poem Journal entitled Open Poem for Francis Turbine Transients. To read more and download the source code and the case study, please visit the Open Poem Journal website. Transient operation of Francis turbines usually involves changes in the guide vane angles and also flow rate. Therefore, in CFD simulation of such transient procedures, we have two types of mesh motions at the same time. We have solid body rotation of the runner domain and also we have mesh deformation of the guide vane domain. For example, here you can see two transient procedures of a Francis turbine. We have load rejection, which is guide vents are closing down, and also load acceptance, which is guide vents are opening up of a, guy, uh, of a Francis turbine. You can see at the same time that the runner is rotating as a solid body, the guide vane domain mesh is deforming. In this study, we use displacement Laplacian for the mesh deformation. One can also use velocity Laplacian solver. So first, we studied the effects of mesh motion diffusivity on different transient operations. In the load rejection, the cells that are in the middle of the guide veins sustains highest deformation. These cells here and here. While for the load acceptance, cells that are close to the interface deforms most. So cells close to this blue curve here and here. For these reasons, uh, inverse distance diffusivity is more appropriate for the load rejection operation, whereas quadratic manipulator can actually en enhance or improve the mesh deformation for load acceptance operation. So mesh points that are on the upper and lower surfaces of the guide vane domain should be able to slip on these surfaces. The general slip uh, condition that follows this formula here is an explicit correction and is highly unstable in case of displacement Laplacian solver. You can see a very small change, change of the guide vane angle could result in a production of negative volume and destruction of the mesh. So we uh, propose different alternatives uh, for, for a solution in the paper, uh, such as uh, slip on the plane, slip on the steel surface, and also an ad hoc explicit correction that one can implement inside the code and we actually followed this third uh, solution in the paper. So as a case study, we looked at the Francis 99 model turbine. On the left picture, you can see a cross-section of this turbine. And the full turbine computational mesh contains 16 million cells, which is a close view of it uh, is shown on the right picture. And we studied both load rejection and load acceptance operations. Here, the pressure on, in the veinless space of the turbine is shown for both load rejection and load acceptance procedures. One can see the uh, pressure distribution is captured rather accurately compared to the experimental data, and we clearly have uh, captured uh, the rotor stator interaction fluctuations in the pressure. Here, a comparison is made for the velocity distribution in the draft view for both uh, numerical and experimental data. Uh, so the left picture shows the load rejection and the right picture shows the load acceptance operations. The top row in both pictures show the numerical results and the bottom row shows the experimental data, which shows indicates a good agreement. So the lambda 2 criterion isosurfaces are shown here to visualize the vertical structures. One can see at the best efficiency point, we have a cylinder vertical structure in the middle, but when the guide vane starts closing down, as can be seen in this graph, and also here, a strong uh, central uh, vortex is formed. This vortex uh, becomes gradually disintegrated and unstable, and then uh, it reintegrates again and forms a rather strong and stable rotating vortex rope. This rotating vortex rope, as can be seen here in this graph, produces very large fluctuating forces on the runner. And also the pressure distribution in the draft tube uh, shows that there are large oscillations in the pressure. So these kind of uh, oscillations could be detrimental and harmful for the lifetime uh, of the turbine. Thank you for your attention.